Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are doing something a little different as we go over the steps you need to take to create your very own Nook phone using your own device. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So I'm sure you've seen a bunch of Animal Crossing fans converting or customizing their smartphones to look exactly like a real life Nook phone. Now thanks to the latest iOS 14 update that was released last week on most iOS devices, it's now possible to completely customize iPhones using new shortcuts and widgets. And in this tutorial, I'll go over very quickly how you can do exactly that so you can have your very own Nook phone that looks a lot like mine here. Anyway, before we get into it, all of these assets you need were kindly made available by OKPNG OK and are free to download with the option to donate. Of course, if you can support the creator, please do. You don't have to use these assets though, you can of course make your own if you really want to. Anyway, please leave a like on the video, it helps out so much and let's get into it. Step one, assets. So the first thing you want to do is get all of the assets you want to use for the icons of the apps. Of course, we're going to be using OK PNGs because they're perfectly suited for what we're looking to achieve, so I'll leave the links below. Simply work your way through the checkout, through the link, donating if you can, and within a few seconds, you'll be able to download them directly to your device. From here, you can press the download icon at the top and unzip the file. Then we get to see the wonderful icons available. Just select them all and save them to your camera roll. This will save a lot of time later and if done correctly, you should see pretty much all the icons in your photo feed. Step two, design your Nook phone. Now in this step, we're going to be creating all Nook phone icons. First, open the shortcuts app on the iPhone. You can either search for it or find it on your home screen. Once in the app, press the plus button to create a new shortcut. Inside the shortcut, you're going to want to add an action. Here we need to search for open app because we want to create a workable icon. Once back to the shortcut, we press choose and select the app which we want to do first. Given the first app on the Nook phone is the camera, we'll choose the camera app. Now once selected, press the three dots and then add to home screen. This essentially sets up the app icon. Here we can completely customize how we see it. So we press the icon and select the awesome looking Nook phone camera icon. Next, we can either remove the title of the app or name it whatever we like. I think I'll remove it as it's pretty obvious what the app is and it will look more like the actual Nook phone. Then you want to hit next, name it something obvious and press done. Then you will see your shortcut on this screen. And that's pretty much the entire process. Simply repeat this entire step for every icon, making sure you use a new shortcut for each app. For example, you could use Amazon for the Nook shopping app, the Apple Maps for the map app, or my favorite, the settings app for the construction app and stuff like that. You can literally do whatever you want. At the end, once you've done them all, if your shortcuts menu looks like this, you've done it correctly. Step three, wallpaper. This one is an easy step and I'm sure everyone knows how to do it, but to make your smartphone look even more like the Nook phone, you're going to want to add the Nook phone wallpaper. To do this, simply hit the construction app or the settings app if you didn't do the same as me and head to the wallpapers, select the Nook phone wallpaper that's part of the asset pack and save it. And just like that, it already looks pretty much like your own Nook phone. It's really cute. Step four, widgets. Now, some people might already be happy with the way this looks, but if you want to take it even further, you can add a large widget at the top of the screen. This pulls the apps down, more accurately matching the layout of the Nook phone, and allows you to add things like reminders, or feeds, or times and dates, or even the weather, pretty much whatever you want. A popular widget app to do this is called Widgeridoo, and all we're going to add is a New Horizons inspired icon, and the date, which again matches the aesthetics of the Nook phone. Using the date seems to be very popular within the community because it resembles the titles of the apps on the Nook phone. But again, you can do whatever you want. And last but not least, I'm just going to remove all the docked apps because of course the Nook phone doesn't have a dock, but I'll probably change this later. Of course, if you want to, you can put some of the shortcuts we just created back in the dock if that's what you'd prefer. 
And there we have it. That's our very own Nook phone with usable apps. I can click the construction app to go to settings or back to the shopping cart and go to Amazon. And it's just like having the real thing. Of course, this is just the iPhone version. Unfortunately, I don't own an Android, but I believe it's load simpler on an Android anyway, as you guys have been able to do this sort of thing for some time. What do you think about this? Will you customize your smartphone to look like a Nook phone or have you made any other video game inspired home screens? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, I'd like to thank OKPNG once again for uploading all the assets for the community and pretty much everyone on Twitter who have been asking for this tutorial as well as those sending me screenshots of theirs. You guys are really awesome. Anyway, don't forget to check out all the links in the description for all of the assets, the widgets and everything that inspired this video. Definitely check them out. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment Nook just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include when you think the New Horizons Fall update is going to release. I'd love to know. Personally, I think it's tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and find it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.